Hey there guys and girls, it's us again. Um, given the fact that uh, we've got the car show at the end of uh, the week, well this is actually Saturday, so it's the end of um, yeah, the end of next week, so next Friday I think we're planning to go. Um, we thought we might, we might just take a quick run out uh, to the local car yards, and not too far from here, um, and check out prices of used cars, because I'm going to see some pricing on new cars uh, at the car show on all the new models. We thought we might just pop out just to just look at the used cars, uh, because you know not everybody's going to be in a market for a, for a new car. Um, so let's see what we can turn up. Anyway, so uh, before you before you switch out, uh, don't forget down here for the subscribe yeah. button. Um, that always you know, helps the channel. Don't forget the little bell thing here that uh, gives you a little notification. And don't forget uh, the website. Um, just plug into the website, uh, subscribe, uh, get the push notification thing. Um, we're going to be using that quite often now uh, to um, really chart our adventures here in Thailand. Anyway, let's cue the intro and uh, we'll catch up in a second. Well, here we are just out on uh, the main road now. In other videos, I might have mentioned that where we live, we're like on the, the main western distributor um, going out of Bangkok, um, which in Australia is actually Parramatta Road. Now, Parramatta Road is also quite commonly known as uh, Auto Alley, or it's just where all the, like, the car dealerships are. Um, and it's a very popular place for weekend uh, driving to go and check out all your cars. Now, where we live, of course, we don't know. There's probably a bit of wind noise here. Sorry, guys. Um, but we, where our road is here, we don't actually have um, the, uh, the auto alley there. But just down towards the mall, uh, what's the name of this road here? This road here? Katanam Pisek. So Tanon Katanam Pisek is the, is the uh, north-south road, um, around the ring road around Bangkok. Um, and this is just where we are at the mall, just up in the mall, is like their auto alley. So that's where we thought we decided to stop off first, just have a look at the cars. Uh, this one here, this one looks like a fairly decent big dealership. And again, um, when you're talking about buying used cars, in Australia the traps are like who's a good dealer, and you always tend to go from word of mouth. Uh, and yes, uh, uh, right behind us here we've got some Isuzu, um, we've got uh, Mercedes, um, uh, what is it, uh, what's this one, um, Chrysler, uh, Chrysler I think it is, uh, Toyota Hilux, so uh, it's a bit of a range here, now people have been asking about, you know, prices of cars, so we thought it might come out, it's also a bit of a sort of a research on our behalf as well, Try, trying to get a, an idea of um, uh, what you would pay for a new car, what you would pay for a used car. Um, now this this particular dealership doesn't have any obvious pricing on the windows, and I don't really want to get too uh, personal with the thing, but we'll stop and have a look. We'll see if we can find a nice car. Uh, probably sort of look, you know, something five years old, something that might have just come off lease um, in both a a sedan and a um, and a station wagon, right? So here's an Isuzu, um, looks like a Ute, Isuzu Ute. Um, not quite sure, 2013 model. Um, so it's uh, four years old. They're looking at four to the 79,000 baht for that one there. And I think this is saying it's. Um, I don't. I don't know how to read the the signage. Um, Again, this is another Isuzu Ute. Um, can't tell what year that one is. 499,000 baht. Here's one in the window. It's a Toyota, what is it, just a Yaris? Yaris. Yeah, this is a Toyota Yaris. Um, trying to look for a year 2006 model Yaris. Um, uh, 
applying these skills. I wish I could speak more Thai, but uh, they're looking at 259,000 baht for that one there. All in all, they're not looking too bad, too, too bad a nick. But uh, really what we're looking for is something like a sedan and a, and a something like a Fortuna, um, just to get some price comparisons. So what we have in front of us here is a uh, 2011 model Vios, which is similar to our car, I think ours is a 2003 model. Uh, what they're looking at here is a 308,000 baht. Uh, it's uh, got an 8,000 baht down payment, is that right? Uh, and what else is there? So uh, how much per month? For my so for four, for twelve, um, so for four years, so seven thousand eight hundred ninety-one. Um, so you got a four-year, you've got a five-year, a six-year, and a seven. Is it eight years? I think seven years. Eighty-four. So forty-eight months is twelve. Okay. So it's four twelves are forty-eight. Five twelves are sixty. Six twelves are seventy-two. Uh, seven twelves are eighty-four. Yes. Yeah, so. So it's a four year, five year, six year and seven year. So a four year down payment seven thousand eight hundred and ninety-one. Um, five year six thousand six hundred and twenty-one. Um, seven year up uh, yeah, uh, six year which is five thousand eight hundred and sixty-three and seven year five thousand four hundred and ninety-one. Now if we were to buy looking at something like that to buy, um, I would need a yellow book. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Having just um, uh, the license and my um, what do you call it? My license and my um, my what do you call it? Uh, visa is not enough. Uh, uh, and I do need to actually sort of have like that whole proof of residency thing, which is the yellow book. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Doesn't matter how much money you got. They really want to know where to come if you've. Um, if you default on the loan, right, they want to know where to go and find the car, you know how it works. Um, yeah, that was the Toyota Yaris we were looking at before. This one here behind us is another Toyota Vios, 319,000. Um, we don't have the breakdowns. They want an 8,000 uh, baht deposit again. Um, and I guess they drive away, you pay the money, you can drive away. If you pay the 8,000 baht and sign the paper, yeah. you just drive, no problem. No yeah, so it's, it look, from what I understand, it's a, it's a really weird system out here. Um, I know when we bought the bought the new bikes, uh, you know, last year, it was really quite odd to me. Like, you know, in Australia, you're going to go through all this registration assurance and blah, 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 and just buying a new new bike off the, off the shelf. It, you know, like it normally takes like two weeks, you know, uh, doing all the paperwork and everything else. Um, well, that's been my experience anyway. Uh, when I when I bought the um, the Hyundai Veloster uh, four years ago, um, even that one there, even though it was a demo model, I still needed to wait 24 hours for the repair and get all the paperwork right, get all the registration done, and all that sort of stuff. But uh, over here, like we bought the new bikes. I'd paid the money and effectively paid the money and I could drive it away. You know, it's really quite a weird system. I, I guess it's going to be different in every place you go. Um, but it's, uh, it, I think the best way to look at used car buying is you're going to have to have, you know, a, a Thai speaker with you to make sure it all gets done right. Okay, so behind us here we've got a, um, a Toyota Fortuna. Um, this is something been asked. Some of the people on the channel have been asking about the Fortuna style model cars, like the big four-wheel drives. Uh, they're good for transporting a lot of people. Like you know, they seat up to like yeah, seven, yeah. seven people. So what year is this one? What? what? Hold on. So this is a 2007 model uh, Toyota Fortuna. Uh, it's about the same age as the Fortuna we've got. He says it's, a, it's about 600,000 baht for this one, um, or over four years, uh, about 11,000 baht per month. Uh, again, I think drive-away costs about 12,000 baht. 
So just behind me here we have a uh, Mercedes, uh, what they call Benz uh, E230. Uh, what they're looking here, this is a 2011 model. We're looking at uh, 2 million baht for this one here. Like, you can buy a decent house in you know, like the suburbs of Bangkok for 2 million baht. Um, I don't know, like, I really don't know how they work these pricings out. Um, they haven't even got a monthly price. It's something that, uh, I guess at those sort of prices, you're going to have to do some haggling. A couple of Chevy Utes here behind us. Half a million baht. Um, you can see on top of the dash here, the, the, the rev counters. These are pre-owned by Revhead, so I would, I would definitely think about steering clear of these ones um, because they're probably going to thrash to death. Here we have uh, an Isuzu uh, ute. It's the, what they call the four-cab ute, so it's got the, the two seats in the front and they've got the passenger behind the back. Um, this is like your functional work cars. Now, Isuzu is a very popular brand in Thailand. They're very well, usually really reasonably priced. It's a 2014 model. Um, it's, uh, it's three years old. Uh, he's looking at half a million baht for this one. This is something that I'm definitely entertained at buying if I was looking for that type of car. It's got no gauges on the front. It looks like it's been owned by somebody who actually works. Uh, not a rev head. <laughs> well, here's another one we're going to stop at and have a look around here as well. Seems like a fairly bigger, looks like a bit of a bigger, bigger range, so uh, might be better bargains, who knows. I don't see very many uh, Hyundai's here in uh, Thailand. Uh, they're starting to become popular, but I think something about the fact that they're, uh, they're competing directly against the, to uh, the Toyota marketplace, uh, they've really not paid the right bribes, I guess, to get a foothold in the country. Two thousand eleven model Mini Cooper. I know one of my first vehicle that I ever owned was a Mini um, Clubman um, back in 1970, uh, 1978 was my first car, um, and I paid uh, I think six hundred dollars for it. This is uh, no, that was only sort of five years old as well. This thing here, Mini Clubman, one point two million bar. Really. Anybody want, they, they, it's a pose vehicle, I don't know why anybody would want to buy one. And what else have we got beside it? Here's another one here, so this is a, uh, a Mazda, a Mazda 2, um, 2015, so it's two years old. It's not a bad looking car. Uh, 518,000 baht. Now, I'm sure last year when I was at the motor show, I was seeing new ones on the floor there at around 520,000 baht. So I'm not quite sure how they're getting away with this sort of price in there for something that's two years old. Um, but then again, it may be low mileage or something. Behind me here, a Honda CRV. Uh, didn't quite catch the year. 118,000 kilometers on the clock. They're looking at uh, 720,000 baht for that one. Again, I think it's a bit on a high price. Um, so yeah, so just in this little, little outing we've had today, it's going to be one of those things, looking at you know, pricing of used cars is going to take a lot of homework. Um, and don't forget, you've also got car buying online. These places here, they're always trying to indemnify themselves. Uh, you might sort of say, you know, they, they, they're inflating the price because um, the default, defaults on car loans is extremely high here in Thailand. Um, uh, it's, yeah. Repo is very, very sort of common in the country. People obviously, you know, uh, spending more money than they can afford um, because again, there's not enough, really, really not enough credit checking in the process to make sure that uh, you know, people can actually afford these things. Uh, pretty much if you've got a yellow book or a blue book and, uh, and you can show that you've got some money to pay a deposit, they're, they're, all, they're all for it, that's it. You know? it's, it's all factored into the pricing. Um, if you default on your loan, then that's it. The repayment are going to come after you. Yeah, so look, it's going to be one of those things. When, you, when you're looking for a used car, you're going to have to definitely do some homework. Oh, look, we've even got uh, used motorcycles here as well. Somebody was asking about motorcycle prices, obviously, big ball. Behind me here is a, um, a Honda CD 650F. Um, 219,000 baht. 
um, we're trying to work out the prices and all that. Um, but again, it's a 2015 model. Now, like, they could turn around and just buy that one off, off the shelf without even worrying about financing. Um, had the ex exhaust reworked really work on it, so it'd be one of those sort of things. It's obviously been owned by a bit of a redhead. Um, they weren't too much concerned about the resale pricing. But again, these are sort of things you're going to have to do the homework on. A 2013 Ducati, uh, 260,000 baht. Um, again, not a bad price. That's a 790cc. Uh, big bore, nice bike, Ducatis. And you like this one? Harley Davidson, it's a XG750, 349,000, uh, 2015 model. And it looks like it's in really, really good condition. Um, I really like that bike. <laughs> oh my god, I could hear the cash register already. Well, that's again, that's not a bad price for a Harley Davidson. Uh, looks like it's been very well cared. Um, yeah, uh, it's a nice looking bike. Harley Davidson Sportster. That's a nice looking bike as well. 550,000 baht. Again, looks like it's been really well cared for. I do like these sort of semi chop sort of bikes. It's my style of bike. So, all in all, I think it's one of those sort of things like if you're going to be looking for a car or even a bike, um, you know, like when we bought our bikes last year, you know, I did about, you know, for three months homework uh, looking at the different makes and models. Um, and you know what was popular, what was getting good ride-ups and everything else and we were buying new bikes. Uh, that's why we settled on the M-Slash. Um, but yeah look that was what 94,000 baht when we bought them last year. Um, we bought them brand new so there was no finance involved um, and of course doing so um, you know it was just pretty much just we just turned up with Shunders Blue Book and we drove them away. Um, <coughs> Whereas, you know, like we could have got the same CC, like 150cc, uh, for maybe, you know, uh, there's a few models and makes, not in the, in the brand names, or more the, Thai, uh, the Thailand brand names. I think 150cc, they started around about 60,000 baht. Um, so, you know, and they're good for just running around Thailand. Whereas, you know, like, you know, now that after I go to the gym for a while, and don't forget, I'm still sore after the gym. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be sore for a month, but uh, you know, like the whole thing is getting, getting, getting fit, uh, and uh, you know, like looking at what options we've got. Now we'd like to do some cruising around Thailand. I don't know if motorcycles or a car is the way to go. We've got the car. Um, we jumped in the Toyota Vios this morning, and the air conditioning belt was broken again. So Pa's looking after that. Uh, that's the second time in 12 months that we've broken an air conditioning belt. Uh, and again, you just start to worry about, you know, like a, a 12 or I think a 14 year old car, you know, you start driving it around Thailand, you know, nothing worse than sort of being, you know, 500 miles from somewhere and, and your air conditioning belt breaks <laughs> and you don't know anybody. Uh, these are the concerns we have. Um, but yeah, getting back to the whole thing about uh, cars and bikes, yeah, we'll be looking at the, the car show next year, uh, next week. Uh, that's probably about two or three videos from now, depending on our timing. Um, so, I will make sure I pin this one here as a map on my website, um, so you've got a, a location. Uh, this actually looks like a pretty good place to start checking out. But ultimately it's going to come down, you're going to be looking at a make and a model, uh, you're going to be doing some price comparisons online and at various uh, uh, car dealerships. You're going to be looking at new and used pricing and doing a lot of that uh, you know, whole uh, research process which is never the fun part about buying a vehicle. Um, but ultimately if you're going to pay cash you shouldn't have too much problem. If you're going to be sort of putting on a finance you're going to be putting it on in your, uh, your girlfriend's name or your wife's name who might be a Thai national um, or you're going to have to need your own yellow book to obviously proof of where they can come and repossess the vehicle. So anyway, um, I think we've pretty much covered what we wanted to do today. We'll continue to look around here. Um, let's have a look at some other, other options. In this particular shop here, this one here is uh, D Big Bike. 
Um, so this is like a, probably a good option. I know a few people are asking about big bore bikes. Um, definitely, as to say, come out here and check this one out. Um, but yeah, so this is just not one car dealership. This looks like uh, on this block here, which again, I sort of said there will be a pin on my website and probably in the uh, description below in the, uh, in the YouTube description. There's probably four dealerships here. So it's like a little auto alley, a mini auto alley uh, with cars and bikes. So it's definitely not a bad place to come if you're popping out the west of Bangkok here. Anyway, so, okay darling, what do you think? You see enough? Yep. Yep. Okay, okay. Well, as I guess that wraps that one up for today. Um, so don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, hit the like button, the whole thing. Um, leave your comments uh, if you want us to do some more research and this sort of stuff. As I said, we'll be doing the video at the car show next week. Um, there will probably be two videos because the car show, we're going to probably spend about four hours up there. Um, and I don't, like last time I did the car show, it was a good 30 minute um, uh, episode uh, which really didn't cover much at all. So it's going to be probably two or three different videos. Uh, we'll probably look at um, you know, the whole, um, what do you call it, uh, big. Uh, people movers type things like the Fortuners uh, as one video, then look at the sedans and then look at the bikes. So probably three different videos we'll be doing out of the car show. Um, but just stay tuned in for that and uh, we will see you soon. Bye bye. Bye guys.